Hey everybody, welcome back. Grab a floaty, we're floating down Denial River today. Me and my bestie's toxic trait is we make up stories in the Uber. <laughs> were they hugging or were they I just don't wanna start. It's not the, I, it was I like don't wanna. It years ago now. That he <laughs> his cousin. I think he did. I just, I don't know. Yeah, but they might have. I don't know. This bad. is really blindsided me. And you guys were on a break. What the f incestual f is that? Well, they're third cousins. That doesn't matter. They're still cousins. You know, I know, but I just. And he still cheated on me regardless. It doesn't no, matter you if you're related. Yeah, but you want a break. Yeah, a break means nothing. What do you think? Do you think that that's okay? What do you think? Seriously, what do you the think? The Uber driver. <laughs> Wait, we need. <laughs> It's not, not okay, no. is it? They've always been very close, and now I see like it's not, a, you know, like not a normal close. But yeah, <laughs> there's nothing normal about getting with your cousin. No, I well, third cousins, <laughs> but <laughs> the third cousins. Do you think that's wrong, kissing a third cousin? Ah! Do you think I should get with Elliot, his best friend, for revenge? I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you gotta be real with me. I was real with if you. Sure, if you did it, then yeah, do then yeah, go it. for it. Yeah. All right. Why do you keep saying only third? Like it's not that bad. Oh my god, have you gotten with Tom, your third cousin? <laughs> oh my god. Chris. I don't want to tell you now. <laughs> that poor Uber driver. How could you not tell me? Because I thought you would react like this. Because it's. No, it's not. With third cousins, <laughs> he's a really f good kisser. But ah! just better. He's really f hot. What am I supposed to do? Oh! You know what? This sounds super, super fun. And I bet Uber drivers have heard some of the craziest stuff. It's like, we just say whatever the hell we want in that back seat. They just listen, but try not to listen. They've probably heard some crazy stuff. Like stuff that's real, okay? I aspire to be this Delulu. It sounds so fun! Me and Mike like to play this Delulu game where we like walk by random people and he says things like, oh yeah, and then she farted in my mouth mouth and it was just like probably the grossest thing. POV, spider in the rave. Oh, not a spider. Whoa, whoa, spider in the rave. There's a spider in the rave. Ah, really big. Sorry. Whoa, that's huge. <laughs> that is a big spider. Spider wanted to go to the rave. <laughs> spider loves drum and bass. <laughs> All I see is gigantic eyes. Spider. <laughs> when being nosy goes wrong. Hey y'all from Nashville. Is this your husband? I'm pretending like I'm taking a selfie and he's looking at me like he has a musical note behind his ear on his glasses. Is this your husband? She was talking about what a narcissist his wife is and he was agreeing with her. Y'all wait for the update because it's not what you think. Hi, from Nashville. I just wanted to let you know that that's not my husband, but that is my best friend and his girlfriend. And the beautiful woman in the red dress is a really good friend of mine as well. And her husband was there and some other friends were there. In fact, I know everybody in the video because I invited them to the event that they were at. I know you don't know anything about them. You just decided to casually and nonchalantly narrate some story because you had nothing better to do with your time. So let me fill you in. They were there away from their families and away from their children that night, raising money for an animal nonprofit fundraiser. That's why they looked so beautiful. Now, I don't know what kind of person just crazily decides to narrate random strangers at a bar, but I do suggest that next time you decide to take time out of your evening, um, you take it a little bit slower and don't just come up with whatever random narrative comes into Period. your small little brain. Ooh. 
there's a lot more fun things to do in Nashville rather than just sit and narrate and film people that you don't know. I tried to send you messages. I tried to send you questions. I tried to comment on your videos. I tried to get in touch with you in another way just to let you know that you were in the wrong in this situation. However, this seems to be the only way that I'm gonna be able to get your attention. I hope you take a lesson from this and maybe think twice next time. Child, sometimes you just gotta not film people in public. Uh, yeah. There's nothing wrong with being nosy. But when you do stuff like this, you better cross your T's and dot your I's. Oh my God. Okay, this person has gone so far down Denial River that they're like approaching the rapids. We're getting into the waterfall territory right now. I'm all for the drama. I'm all for, like we react to it on a daily basis, but like, why are you going out and filming people and like adding some words to it and making assumptions about their life without having solid proof? And especially because their faces are in it, dude. Like that is like stupid as hell. If they find out who you are, you getting sued. Can't even sit at a bar with your girlfriend anymore without somebody shoving a camera. Like you could tell they were so uncomfortable about the fact that you were filming them. Unacceptable. Don't be filming nobody without their permission and then creating a false narrative about them online. Tell me your mother-in-law's delusional without telling me your mother-in-law's delusional. I'll go first. My mother-in-law told us that she was gonna file grandparent rights and she knows how the courts work. So she would get at least six weekends a year unsupervised with our four day old son while she had an active protective order against her from me. She also lives six hours away from us and expected us to drive to her to drop off our son for a weekend. Our exclusively at the time breastfed son. She was very convinced that she knew how the grandparent laws worked in North Carolina. However, that's not how they work. She doesn't qualify for grandparent rights in my state. But did that stop her? No. No, it did not. Not only that, but she threatened to ruin my husband's military career. Uh, she also threatened to put false charges against us to have her son taken away, I think given to her. But she can't understand why her son doesn't want to talk to her anymore. I don't know. Mystery to me. Because she's all the way down Denial River, and which, which, uh, because the Denial River has turned into the Delulu Ocean at this point. Is it better to let someone live in denial or do we need to wake them up? You think it's easier for people to live in denial? I think it may be. As y'all know, I'm 23 and I have reached financial freedom. And one of the ways that I grow my money every single day without doing a single thing is by liquidating my assets. And if you don't know what that means, it means that I do not let my money just sit in my bank account doing nothing. I put it into liquid form every <laughs> single day. I do not let my money just sit there. I put it into either a McDonald's Diet Coke or I'll put it into the Starbucks app. The Starbucks app, I love because I can see my money grow. I can see myself get those rewards and put it into a brown sugar shake and espresso. Whatever liquids you do, just liquidate your assets. It is such a waste to have your money just sitting there when you could have it in physical form, getting immediate value out of it right away. Like, right? Watch this. Mm. Richer. So much richer. Liquidate your assets. Thank me later. Do not let your money just sit there. Spend it on liquids. Now, this is the kind of delusion that I can support. Honestly, you sounded like an expert. You are an expert. In my eyes, you're an expert. Just two guys enjoying the swans. Just two guys enjoying the swans. What's better than this, man? <laughs> Nothing, man. Can't beat it. <laughs> Can't beat it. <laughs> we gotta figure out how to talk to women. I was just <laughs> thinking, like, this is getting ridiculous. Yeah, I don't really want to be doing <laughs> this This is with too you. romantic. I mean, we wanted to kiss, we could, but... What? Well, this is like low key kind of cute. Like I like it. Why should only couples be able to go on those swans? Why can't you go on one with your bestie and maybe someone who might be a little bit more than a bestie if you play your cards right? Just kidding. I hate crossing the street. It's so embarrassing. I'm standing there waiting to go. Every car in every lane just looking at me. Now I got anxiety. Can y'all look away so I can cross? How about everybody go, and then I go? Well, I gotta go first. Matter of fact, how about y'all just hit me? <laughs> oh, she woke up and chose violence today, eh? Just angry at the world. Angry at the crosswalks. Everybody's looking at you because you're not moving. You have the right of way, babe. <laughs> but what if I don't want the right of way? <laughs> this guy tried to steal my car last night, lol. That's my car. Excuse me, get out of my car. Where's the e-brake? No. What? Where is it? Get out what? of my car, what's your problem? 
Where's the e I'm going to call the police. Where's the e-brake? No. I'm going to call the police. Get out of my car. No, get out of my car. I'm serious. Get out of my car. All right. Give me a ride home at least. No. no. Uh, sure. All right, give me a ride home. Where the f*** you got my keys from? Give me a ride home. How did you get the keys? Give me a ride home. Give me a ride home right now. Where do you live? Right on Union and Carlton. Let's go. Ring footage of me running out of the house barefoot when I saw him from the window. What the hell? RIP my brakes. Stop. At first I was like, there's no way this is real. But like, I stand corrected. People do a lot of really stupid things for TikTok, but I don't think they would damage their own brakes. Whoa. That is crazy, dude. Buddy just wanted to ride home. Maybe he thought that if he asked you enough times, you would do it. Who in their right mind would want to sit next to the person that just tried to steal their car and give them a ride home? Boy, you're lucky they're not calling the police on you. Asking where the e-brake is at mid-robbery is insane. <laughs> Literally. Help me steal your car! I want to steal your car, tell me where the brake is! No gun, no nothing? Come on now. I was wondering why he was worried about the e-brake until the end. Oh, cause Buddy doesn't even know how to drive a car. I'm not one to talk. <laughs> why does it seem like y'all know each other? I, I don't know, like, see, this is why I'm like, okay, yeah. Like, it does sound like you. this was kind of set up, but like, was it? Was this real? Let me know. Cause like, it's hard to tell for me. Love that you asked where he lived. Yeah, why'd you do that? You just kind of contemplated driving home the guy that just tried to steal from you. <laughs> Are you guys at church? The audacity of this woman thinking that you would be recording her. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, that's not what's happening. Excuse me, you're gonna need to talk to my agent before you put me on record. This is what happens when you get detained for being too hot. Ma'am, you're getting detained for possession. <laughs> you're literally getting arrested because you broke the law. When our impulsive thoughts get to us. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well at that point just put it deeper in the hole why not see being delulu looks fun right but this is about when i get off the floaty i was originally not going to post this but i decided that the internet should not be roped into this girl's lies i was friends with this girl in middle school until she started lying about really weird things for example she would post pictures on instagram it was 2011 she would post pictures on instagram that weren't hers she'd be like oh kayaking for the day and it wasn't even her photo i would just google kayaking photos and i would find it and whatever it's harmless right but then it got a little more like you know devious She'd be like, I made this show on Disney Channel. I'm the main character. Oh my gosh, it's coming out in 2013 or whatever. And she would post a full on like letter saying, congratulations, you've got the part. <laughs> we also claimed that she was on America's Got Talent and our entire school tuned in live on that random Wednesday, the 15th or whatever to watch her and she never came on. And then she never brought it up again. She'd be like, oh yeah, I guess it got cut or something, whatever. But then the lies started to get more serious. She posted this on Instagram one day of a person playing the piano to a cancer patient and said, I'm so glad to have shared this wonderful afternoon with you, Marley. Hashtag stay strong. Oh my, oh my. But let's fast forward to right now. Somebody from her high school sent me her TikTok and said, she's going through a divorce. Look, she's claiming that her ex-husband her. I just want to preface this by saying I don't know the ex-husband. I do not know anything about the relationship. That it is not something to joke about, not something to lie about. She made a couple TikToks of her being like positive and getting out of a relationship. And I was reading it like, okay, that's, that's, I really hope she got out of that. I hope she didn't actually go through that, but I'm glad she got out of it. In this one photo, she had a black eye. And then I saw a TikTok of somebody proving that it was a filter. Although I was shocked, I also wasn't because this girl has been lying for like 14 years. And now other people are starting to catch on and they're commenting on her TikTok, but she's deleting them and blocking anybody who has anything to say about it. So again, let me preface by saying I don't know anything about the relationship and it's horrible if she did have to go through anything like that. But to lie, like to put a filter on and act like that was one of your pictures from your marriage. So the point of this video is to make you guys aware that she has lied in the past over very serious things. And just to like not believe her or give her the attention that she wants because clearly it is like for attention. Dang, it is much easier to be Delulu and to fake having an interesting life than it is to actually live an interesting life.
All right, guys, this is where I get off my Delulu floaty. You guys can keep floating down to Nile River if you want. But uh, if you guys want a big glass of reality, come with me. Subscribe!